right, so let's make a start. And the first thing I'm going to do is make the body. And I take my core wall and I've already weighed this out. It's around five grams of core wall. So I'm just gonna roll that up and needle felt with my 36 star twisted needle, which is, I find it felt way faster than the 36 triangle um, now. I only come across these sort of more recently and, and I just really love them. So I'll just see if I can zoom in on that for you guys so you can see sort of what it looks like. It's, uh, you can see that. Yeah, there you go. So it's sort of real twisted and um, 36 star twisted needle. Okay, let's get back to it. So it's going to needle felt this all over for around five minutes. I haven't felted this too firmly, so it depends. It's, all, it's totally up to you guys. If you want to needle felt it more firmly, um, then then do so. And just remember that when you, the more you do needle felt um, the wall, it will shrink down. So you may need to add um, more wall just to build it back up again. Um, so I've used five grams. So you may need to use a bit more than that. It's entirely inter entirely up to you guys. Um, right, so I'm quite happy with that shape, so now I'm going to put that aside and move on to the head. So for the head, uh, you just want to take approximately, I guess I used around 2.5 grams of core wool here, and I'm just rolling that up as tightly as I can, and again, I'm just going to needle felt it all over. So for the head shape though, I'm going to, well I needle felt this first and then I'll show you what I'm going to do in a minute. So just needle felting all over. So I've needle felted that all over and um, just to build up, if you can see here, the, the sides um, need to come out just a little bit. This is going to be the cat's sort of cheeks and so I'm going to needle felt those around and a little bit thinner and then to build up the top of the head section and the front a little bit more I'm going to wrap a very thin strip of core wool just around the middle section only like so so we're keeping these sections down here going thinner and I need to felt that on Right, so I'm quite happy with that shape. Uh, I would like to point out that for the head, um, I do actually like to needle felt quite firmly, simply because once you get the shape and then you put your top colours on, you won't sort of lose the shape, if you know what I mean. You won't, it won't shrink down anymore and then um, you lose your your detail and your ha the shapes that you're happy with. So I do like to needle felt the head so that it's quite firm before I add any top colours. Um, so just double checking again, that fits in nicely there. So we want to try and keep these little side cheek areas out. If you um, have felted them in a bit too much then what you can do is use a sewing needle, um, a strong sewing needle, so not your felting needle, and just carefully pull these little cheek areas out. Okay, so now we're going to make the little cheeks and the chin, and you just want to measure out two tiny bits for the cheeks, roughly the same, and we're going to needle felt them into little balls. With this pattern, there are two versions, so you've got the more lifelike sleeping kitten, and then just um, a bit more of a basic but still very cute sleeping kitten, which I will show you uh, in another video, um, which I'll put the link in the description, so you can check that out. So we've got two small balls for our cheeks, and then we're just going to make a small ball for the chin. So I've done a little diagram here, and as you can see in our cross point, um, on the pattern, the the nose 
uh, the centre of the nose is actually about two thirds down on the head. So on this one, so what we're going to do is use the line of our needle to kind of find that point and then we want to position the cheeks, the little puffy cheeks either side so they may seem quite big on the stencil sheet but remember when you're felting down into the face they are going to shrink down because you do want them very small so they're going to shrink down into the head and don't worry about any joins because we're going to cover those later so then we put our other little cheek on that side and needle felt into place then you can put the little chin at the bottom so that's going to be our sort of um, little mouth area on the cut so that's situated right low down on the face if you look from the top view you can see these bits are thinner here and then he's got his little sticky out front cheeks here and a little chin which is sort of on the bottom of the head hope that makes sense so again we're going to use some core wool just to make the bridge so just going to needle felt, you don't need much really, I'm just going to needle felt that into a strip. So roll between your fingers and then we're going to measure here on our, on our nose bridge. So that's quite thin, but I might add a tiny bit more, just around that. So it sort of gets wider as well the bridge going up to the up to the um, top of the head. Needle felt that on to our cat. So I'm going to needle felt the point of the bridge just at the top of our two little puffy cheeks. And I'm going to needle felt all the sides up the nose quite firmly up onto the head. Again, don't worry about any of these noticeable joins because we're going to be covering that with our colours in a minute. Um, so if you turn to the side, you should be able to see this bit here. And I'm just going to needle felt a line through there to sort of separate the nose and the forehead. So just going across here. And that kind of just gives us the little bit of the pointy out nose and the cheeks and then the forehead. Okay, so because I've chosen to do a little um, ginger and white sleeping kitten, I'm going to make his little cheek area here uh, white. So you want a very thin amount of your top carded wool. Uh, this is carded New Zealand wool and just layer it over so that you can still sort of see the features underneath. I'm just going to needle felt it onto the little puffy cheeks, making them shrink down a bit more actually, needle felting around the joins. So we're making those cheeks just a little bit smaller, nice and cute, and the chin. And then up onto the bridge of the nose, just redefining the shape, going up here. Again, if you feel free to check out my other video of the more basic um, sleeping kitten, which still is very cute, but you might want to have a go at doing that one um, instead, or both. Right, and it so I'm going to add a bit more white now, just so that I um, don't see the core wall underneath, I want to see the pretty white colour. 
I mean you can, you don't have to use core wool, I like to use it because uh, I find it gives a nice detail. You can just needle felt the cardi wool on its own if you'd rather just do that. So needle felt the cardi wool into the shapes without using the core wool underneath. Right, and I'm going to keep needle felting that to get a bit more definition. So you should have the bridge, two little cheeks and a chin. And now I'm going to put the top colour on for the ginger cat. And for that I'm going to use some tan. So this is just a tan coloured wool. And I'm going to start across the nose. I'm just needle felt that on. Up onto the head. Doesn't have to be perfect. Up onto the side of the head, leaving the underside area and the little puffy cheeks white. Always trying to pinch the head sort of back into shape with these little puffy side cheeks sticking out. And then because I've now lost my little white bridge on the nose, I'm going to add a bit more of the white wall just going up. So that looks quite cute and I'm just going to look from the side, I've kind of lost my little bridge detail there so I'm going to bring that back up a bit by just pulling that nose forwards a bit, if you can see there, like so. Okay. Right, okay, so moving on now for the nose. So what you can do, what I did for this little kitten, for example, um, these little nose there, I just cut a tiny triangle off of the corner of some wool felt, some pink wool felt, like so. And I basically just needle felted it like on where I wanted it made two little nostrils like so and then um, I put a tiny bit of diluted fabric glue with water just over it um, which just when it dried it just kept it in place and it looks quite quite nice but for this one I think oh, for this one I'm going to use some pink carded wool just so it's a bit different um, so yeah, they got to keep it quite small if you can, and I'm just going to needle felt that on like a little triangle. I've now switched to a 38 star twisted needle, which again, I love. I love these star twisted needles so much, um, you can get a lot more detail. Okay, so there's his little nose, and if you needle felt sort of two little nostrils either side, like so. So we're just going to get basic shape from the same ginger wall and to the kind of same
remember when you're doing um, flatter pieces of felt work to lift and turn and then gently felt the other side. I mean it is easier just to cut out the ears from wool felt but I'll just go for it. And then what we're going to do is add some nice pink, the same pink that I used for the nose, into the ears, into the centre of the ears. And I cut any excess off the back. So what I've done now is just add a little bit of soapy water and just sort of felted the ears a little bit more flat and I'm going to let them dry and then when they're dry I'm just going to trim them to match my stencil shape a bit more neatly. For the arms and legs I'm not going to use core wool, I'm going to go straight in with my um, white carded wool, measure out sort of how much roughly I'm going to need. I'm going to start with the, the front legs first. So again, remembering that wool shrinks down, I'm just going to fold it in half and needle felt all over. So I'm going to needle felt and roll. And I'm going to repeat this process to make my legs. Because I only want the tips to be white, I'm going to wrap a little bit of, just a tiny bit, because I don't want them much thicker, um, around each pore. So you want sort of the excess fibre, you want to cut about here, uh, leaving enough to go onto the body. So I'm just going to felt that one a bit better and I'm going to do this one as well. Right so there's our front paws and I've made two um, back legs the same way but we want to bend the little back foot um, so needle felt through the band here and then build up the thigh area which I'm going to build up with some more ginger coloured wool. Quite flat like so and needle felt through the band to keep the foot pointing that way. What I thought would be nice to add a little bit of detail onto the toes. So to do that, uh, I find that black wool can be a bit harsh for this. So I'm using, I usually use a dark brown or a dark grey. And for the back feet, we're just going to start in the middle toe. And just go to the end and trim. And needle felt the ends in. So we're just caught, um, adding a bit of detail to the to the paws here. And then you just want to add a little bit either side, like so, so that we end up with four little toes. Felt a little line along here, then you get the sort of look of little curled up toes, like that. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the tail and the body and um, you want to, if you want your kitten to be able to hold his tail, you're going to need it quite long. So if you don't mind and you just want his tail sort of sticking out to the side, then um, then that's fine. So just measure it against the, the stencil sheet. 
So yeah, if you want his um, tail to be a little bit shorter, then just cut it a little bit shorter than what is on the stencil sheet. It depends how, how long or cute you want him to be, but I quite like that this is long enough so that he can hold his tail. Um, so we're going to wrap it, literally just wrap the pipe cleaner with some a strip of the ginger wool. We want the base of the tail to be thicker, so it sort of gradually gets thinner going up, so I'm going to wrap some more wool around there. So. Okay, so the next thing to do is we're going to add some white for our cat's tummy, so we're just going to literally layer a thin amount of white onto the underside and needle felt into place. And I want to make this area here um, flatter because this is going to be the neck so I'm going to needle felt that flatter. If you can turn it to the side you can see how flat that is now. And I'm going to sit the head in like that and just needle felt it into the back of the head. Okay, so now I'm going to add some more white wool just around the side of the head and up into the neck. Going up into the head and onto the body. If you prefer you can add a couple of stitches to the head to just to anchor it on first so it doesn't slip about um, but once you've got it in position it should be okay it should and certainly once you've got all the wool on it's not it's not going anywhere so now I'm going to add the ginger wool over the back of the neck and onto the head again this is going to help keep everything in place and the head is going to be attached nicely and it's going to cover the join uh, and I don't know if you can see that it just looks really cute with a little kitten his head is now he's laying on his back um, like so so for the mouth I'm going to use a sort of medium brown coloured wool and just roll it into a very fine strip and I'm literally just going to, in effect, draw with the wall. Uh, but you can see the tuck the top bit in here, and it's just going to bring out the mouth. So I'm going to go this way. You you really don't need a lot of wall at all, and I'm going to tuck. That, like he's smiling up there. He's having a nice dream, probably, about mice. And then tiny bit the other way. And then tuck it right in. And I'm going to tr trim off any stray bits of brown. And it's surprising how if you look at the photos on little kittens and cats when they're sleeping their eyes are really low down so be careful not to sometimes I've done it and I end up having to redo it um, you want to use some nice dark brown wool hardly any and low down like literally just above the nose going up at a slight angle and trim And then the same the other side, the same position. The washing up liquid sort of has really made them nice and smooth. And I'm going to needle felt them onto the back of the head at a slight angle. 
so I'm just going to needle felt those on. And then when you're positioning, um, if you line up the corner of the ear, it should be sort of in line with the corner, the inner corner of the eye, like so. And once you're happy with the rough position, you can secure them in place by needle felting more of the ginger wall over the joins. So needle felting right into the base of the ears and onto the head. So if you just pinch a little bit to help shape them into a bit more of a point and to give them a bit more sort of dimension like that. So we're going to add the arms and um, if you line them up so that they're sort of in the line with the base of the ear and you don't want them sticking out too much so the paws sort of just in line with the nose on the face there and once you've got the nice position you can trim off some of the excess if needed and then just needle felt straight into the body ginger coloured wool or whatever colour you're using for the body and needle felt it in through the arm or the shoulder and onto the body, round to the back. So take your back leg and you want to position back leg so that there's just a little bit of the bottom sticking out if you can see that so again it's all in line with the shoulder and the little feet are sticking up and out ginger wool and just needle felt it over that's it okay like so And I'm going to attach the other leg now. So again, smoothing the wall over the joints, just more of the ginger, and needle felt it into place. So I quite like my animals to look quite fluffy, so I don't spend hours and hours felting so it's very firm. Like I say, the only area I tend to felt quite well or very firm is, is the face and the head. So now I'm going to add his tail. So you can just check the length how you want it. I quite like him clutching his tails like this but like I say, if you'd rather just have a, a little smaller tail going up the side then you can just needle felt it on that way or however you want it it's entirely up to you um, so I probably will actually just do this one just to the side just to see how he's gonna look so literally just at the back um, center of the bottom here uh, just needle felt into place Right, so um, just double checking now, like areas like onto the body here, I just put a tiny bit more of the ginger wool and felted that on, just like little areas around the base of the ear here, just going to needle felt a tiny bit more ginger wool onto there, down onto the side of the neck, like so, and um, just around the base of the ears. And then just like this area here, just between the ears, just to neaten that up, I don't know if you can see there, I'm just going to put a tiny strip of the ginger wool and felt that into place. So going through the top of the ears. Okay, 
like so. So the next thing I'm going to do is add the ginger stripes. Um, so to do that I'm going to use these uh, Copic markers. This one is shade E37 and um, it's slightly, it's sort of a browny gingery colour. Um, so I'm going to start just by adding a few stripes on the arms, literally just going up the arms like so. And then just the same on the other arm. I, I really love these uh, Copics actually, they we don't fade. Just going up the arms like so. And I'm going to put some stripes on the legs. And then adding some stripes to the face. So this can be a little bit daunting if you think, oh, I'm going to mess it up. And um, You can actually needle felt wool on to the, the face if you prefer. And that way if you feel that you want to take it off and try to do it again, you can. Um, but really all you need to do is find the middle stripe. Just go down, add one more each side. Then I'm going to put couple of stripes going around the side of the head like so and they don't have to be perfect right and then I'm going to add just a couple of little dots of the same brown in each nostril just to bring that color out a little bit and then we're just going to go to the back and follow a line down the back. Okay, and I'm going to take my Copic pink marker now, which is R20, and I'm going to shade in the little pore pads, just a couple of little pink dots um, for the pore pads. Again, if you'd rather, you could needle felt them on with little bits of wool. So I'm just sewing in some little whiskers now. Just pull them through at an angle. So these are just horse hair, white horse hair. Um, just pull. So one thread makes two whiskers, one either side. And you just cut to length. And then what you can actually do is just add a little bit of super glue, pull the whisker forwards, add a little bit of super glue, uh, the base, and then pull the glue. I've actually run out of super glue at the minute, so it's just, um, which is a bit of a pain. And then just pull the whisker back through so that the glue, it goes onto the whisker into the wall and not on the outside. Right, so I've sewn the whiskers in and um, the last thing I'm going to do is give him, her, a little ribbon collar. So I'm just going to tie some lace around. There you go. Uh, so I've actually rolled up a cute little ball of wool there as well, so you could give that to them to hold 
Um, and if you were making these for sort of Christmas or something like that, then I've made a video showing how to make these little Christmas hats. So you could put those on. Also, you could just make a little basket and pop them, pop them in there, like that. So there you go. Um, I hope you enjoy making these little kittens yourself, and I will be uploading another tutorial with a slightly different uh, sleeping kitten, which is a little bit easier if you're a beginner. So be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for future videos, and thanks again for watching.